Have you ever caught yourself saying things like, they never support me, or they never listen to me, they never want to see me succeed? If you have, then maybe it's time you found a different day. You've probably already heard all the usual sayings about the value of the company you keep. My personal favorite is that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. There's a similar one that says, if you show me your friends, I will show you your future. You get the drift. If you want to live freely, then you've got to surround yourself with people who lift you up. But quoting cliches about keeping good company, that's the easy part. The hard part is actually living it. Why do we find it so difficult to consistently surround ourselves with the right kinds of people? I've got several theories, but here's one of them. When it comes to picking friends, many of us have been conditioned to look around for the cool kids. Now, I define the cool kids as anyone at any age or any stage who seems to offer us the greatest amount of social status. These are the kind of people who, if you can get them to talk to you, if you can get them to spend time with you, then everybody else will see you hanging out with them and they will think you're cool too. So we work real hard to try to get the cool kids to accept us. And even if they treat us poorly, we put up with it because, hey, that's the price for being cool, right? And if we manage to succeed, we might look cool on the outside, but we end up feeling compromised on the inside. And that brings us to a very important lesson about how you choose to define what it means to be cool in your own life. Terrence McKenna once said, I don't know if I'm cool or not, but I'm incredibly resistant to anyone else's efforts to make me feel uncool. If your definition of being cool is causing you to desperately seek the approval of people who don't even respect you, then you need a new definition of cool right away. Because you don't need any cool people in your life if that means putting up with unnecessary drama, toxic behavior, and other forms of nonsense that don't add value to your experience. There's a saying for that too. Go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not saying that you should only hang out with people who stroke your ego and tell you that you're beautiful and brilliant every single time they see you. You need friends who support your dreams, but you also need friends who challenge you to step up your game. You can't afford to surround yourself with people who don't give you the honest feedback you need to become a better version of yourself. A true friend will not only celebrate your presence, but they'll also criticize your performance. A true friend will encourage you to follow your dreams, but they'll also challenge you to take personal responsibility for the results that you say you wanna create. So when I say find a different they, I don't mean run the other way every time someone has something critical to say. I mean stop begging people to be friends with you and start seeking out relationships with people who value your potential. I'll be the first to admit, if you build your friendships this way, it's going to take a lot of courage and a lot of patience because sometimes you'll have to be willing to walk alone before you get the chance to walk alongside those who are committed to building you up. And that can feel lonely sometimes. But when you have those moments, remember this, there is at least one form of loneliness that's much, much worse than the loneliness that comes from having no friends. And that's the kind of loneliness that results from not having any convictions. No amount of friends can keep you happy if you have to sacrifice your self-respect and your sense of purpose in order to keep them around. It's fun being liked, but it's much more fulfilling when it's the real you they like. So if you ever have to choose, it's better to be cool with your goals than to be cool in the eyes of those who don't even respect you. And if you can practice that mindset long enough and stick with it, you'll eventually become way too valuable to go for too long without making good friends. So the next time 
you find yourself saying, they never support me, or they never listen to me, or they don't want to see me succeed. I want you to replace those words with the following. From now on, I choose to surround myself with people who not only accept me for who I am, but who respect me enough to push me towards the person I need to become.